Today, we are diving into the essentials of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a collection of health problems that increase the risk of heart disease and diabetes. It's often confused with another disorder called Syndrome X, which involves chest pain without blocked heart arteries. This distinction is crucial because the two conditions require different treatments and management strategies. Body fat distribution, a sedentary lifestyle, and genetic predisposition all affect the likelihood that an individual with obesity will develop diabetes or cardiovascular disease. It's not just about being overweight, uh, where you store fat matters. For example, carrying excess fat around your abdomen is particularly harmful. A sedentary lifestyle characterized by little or no physical activity further increases these risks. Additionally, genetic factors can make some people more susceptible to these conditions. One important marker for identifying metabolic syndrome is the A1C blood test, which measures your average blood sugar levels over a few months. Although the official definition of metabolic syndrome doesn't include A1C, many doctors use it to detect impaired blood sugar regulation in their patients. To diagnose metabolic syndrome, doctors look for three or more of the following five criteria. Abdomen obesity, large waist circumference, elevated serum triglycerides, high levels of a type of a fat in the blood, low HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, elevated blood pressure, elevated fasting plasma glucose, high blood sugar levels after fasting. Metabolic syndrome is recognized as a pro-inflammatory and pro-thrombotic state, meaning it causes inflammation and increases the risk of blood clots. The state is associated with elevated levels of C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, and plasminogen activator inhibitor-1. These markers indicate that the body is in constant state of low-grade inflammation which can damage blood vessels and lead to heart disease. The increased risk for heart disease and diabetes in people with metabolic syndrome is due to a combination of risk factors and insulin resistance, rather than obesity alone. Not everyone with obesity will develop these conditions. It depends on how sensitive their bodies are to insulin. Insulin-resistant individuals are at the greatest risk. The primary therapy for metabolic syndrome is aggressive lifestyle modification. This involves focusing on weight reduction through diet and increased physical activity. These changes can significantly improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk of developing serious health problems. Diet is a cornerstone of managing metabolic syndrome. The Mediterranean diet, which is high in fruits, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, and olive oil, is recommended. This diet has been associated with reductions in overall mortality and improvement in metabolic health. Other effective diets include low-fat diets, the DASH diet, and low-glycemic index diets. Exercise is equally important. Regular physical activity, particularly a combination of aerobic and resistant training, can help reduce abdominal fat and improve metabolic outcomes. Even for those who find it challenging to exercise, reducing sedentary behavior can still offer significant health benefits. For many patients, lifestyle changes alone are not enough to achieve significant weight loss or improve metabolic health. In such cases, pharmacotherapy or bariatric surgery may be considered. These interventions can provide additional support in managing weight and metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome also increases the risk of poorly controlled hypertension and organ damage and all-cause mortality. Therefore, managing blood pressure aggressively and addressing all cardiovascular risk factors is crucial. This includes treating hypertension, preventing diabetes, and lowering cholesterol levels. The prevalence of metabolic syndrome is rising 
particularly in the United States, where increasing obesity rates contribute to the problem. This trend highlights the importance of obesity prevention and promoting physical activity from a young age. In summary, metabolic syndrome is a serious health condition that involves a cluster of risk factors. Understanding these factors and managing them through lifestyle changes, diet, exercise, and medical interventions can significantly reduce the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Recognizing and addressing metabolic syndrome early is key to preventing long-term health complications.